This is Ready News Review, the podcast. And now, America's independent voice, Rob Ready. Rob Ready. <laughs> Giving you the pressing news that you need to know first on this program, a story we broke late last night has caused much attention to come to the website, and we appreciate all of those people who are finding the program and finding the show. We have been talking about black radio and how it has been under fire for some time, and we have been at the forefront of this, at actually at sometimes in the middle of this story. Of course, this show is continuing to broadcast despite uh, being under siege for telling truth about the White House and its campaign against the black press. And that is one of the things that I will never regret on this program. But we've seen other shows that have been put under attack, too. We've seen the likes of Warren Ballantyne, of course, go dark as a result of all of this. And also Michael Bazden go dark as well. We've seen other shows cut back, open line in New York, cut back and trend back with host and with Hours as well. We've seen Al Sharpton, Long Hair Don't Care's show, uh, cut back by an hour. We've seen shows completely eliminated. GW on the Hill, uh, gone uh, from many spaces and places. We've seen real change in the landscape of cable news. Roland Martin, no longer at CNN. Solid at O'Brien, trimmed at CNN. You have T.J. Holmes, who was just told that his show would not be renewed at BET. These are all programs where we have lost significant voices. And whether you agree with those voices or not, we've lost significant voices in the black press. This is one of those few shows that is so independently focused and centered that we haven't been a big casualty like these other programs have experienced. We haven't seen the lights go out the way some of these others have. But there are now shows that are on their way back. That's right. There are shows is showing some sign of life, but that's because of some real entrepreneurship that's being undertaken by some individuals. We'll get to that in a moment. But Warren Ballantyne's show has returned to the air. Now, I know Warren, and we've had our issues. To be honest with you, Warren and I have had our issues. We've gone in and out of talking to each other. But Warren, I believe his voice is important. I don't always agree with his strategy. I don't always agree with where he's going. But I agree that he's an important voice, as I will have disagreements with everyone I've mentioned. At some point in the press, whether it's Roland Martin, whether it's Soledad O'Brien, whether it's T.J. Holmes, even whether it's Don Lemon, who's still on CNN, I still think that they're important figures. I might reserve the right to critique what they do and how they do it. I still think that they're important figures in what they do. The diversity of voices is very important to our country. And Warren Ballantyne, I was happy to report this, more than happy. I got a call yesterday from a mutual friend of ours, David Anderson, and David Anderson told me, he said, Rob Warren is back on the air. And he took his phone, and he told me he was going to do it. He took his phone and put it up next to the speaker, and I said, my gosh, that is Warren Ballantyne. Warren Ballantyne came back on the air on Monday, I'm happy to report. I listened to part of his show today, and we filed this report late yesterday on blacktalkers.com. Remember, that's the arm that covers the black talk media industry that we also own and control. It's called blacktalkers.com, which has been seeing an uptick in traffic because of this exclusive that we filed first. Black Talkers has learned that Warren Ballantyne has returned to the air on WAGF AM in Dothan, WJBE AM in Knoxville, WOWE AM in Flint, WJMG AM in Hattiesburg, WPUL AM in Daytona Beach. His show can be heard at his normal time slot 
from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern via the Empowerment Radio Network. You can listen to him on TuneIn by searching for the Empowerment Radio Network. Stations interested in running his show can send emails and place phone calls to the Empowerment Radio Network, which is carrying his show. And so he's on his way back as a result of all this, and he is being well-received. Let me put it this way. I put this on Facebook and Twitter to more than 4,000 people on Facebook and Twitter last night, and when I had literally looked at it before I went to bed, when I looked at this, before I went to bed, it had 60 likes of him being back in the saddle, and that's great. I'm glad he still has a very sizable fan base out there, that will be looking for a show. And you won't have to look too hard. He's going to, he's on a, quite a few stations. And I know that David Anderson is working fairly hard at trying to get him on as many stations as possible. At this hour, just right now, I can tell you that I've spoken directly to the network, and they are doing what they can to put him on as many stations as possible. But it's not the only station that list that we see right now that he has of course there are other stations that this network is working very diligently to procure and i want to talk about that this is reading news review i'm rob reading america's independent voice giving you a spot of good news i'm glad to give you some good news these days and i'm giving you so 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 much bad news in the last few hours and the last few days I think it's important also to give you some good news. This is Reading News Review. I'm Rob Reading, America's independent voice, giving you the pressing news that you need to know first on this program at 855-ROB-3080, 855-762-3080 to get into the radio program, 855-762-3080 to get into the radio show. If you want to advertise on this show, send an email over to sales at readingnewsreview.com. That's sales at readingnewsreview.com. Someone will get back with you. Send an email to sales at readingnewsreview.com. If you want to book me for your event, it's booking at readingnewsreview.com. That's booking at readingnewsreview.com. Booking at readingnewsreview.com. This is Reading News Review, the show. I am Rob Redding, America's independent voice. Back with more in moments. 3080, I told you Warren Ballantyne is back. He's back on numerous stations, and they're adding more every single day. Who are they? The Empowerment Radio Network. That's right, the Empowerment Radio Network, a brand-new network started by David Anderson. David, we've had you on the program before. You're a longtime friend. Tell me how you brought Warren Ballantyne back to radio. Um, well... It's really not me. It was kind of like my mom, you know, and her badgering. <laughs> Wait a minute. But, your uh, mom Miss Dave, David, David, you're saying your mom Miss Warren? Well, no, like my mom has really uh, been a real major influence with this whole network. Um, when Miss Bev went off the radio, my mother used to listen to her on WWRL in New York, and so she called me, and she just said, she said, Ben Smith off the radio. You need to do something about it. Bye. Don't call me till you figure it out. You know, and then um, we got another call to the house from uh, Radio 1 during the inaugural, and they wanted me to come up to fill in for Warren um, because he was with the president or whatever. So I was like, all right, cool. I called my mom and was like, yo, you want to go to the inaugural? So we all, the whole family went up to D.C., and when we were in D.C., all this craziness was going on. So I was like, well, you know, Warren on the break, because he was down he was with the president. So on the break, I was like, hey, man, this situation don't seem too kosher. If it falls through, let me know, because, you know, we're building this network. And we got Bev and trying to do some other things. And so we were driving back down from the um, D.C., and by the time I got to... Virginia, my phone started ringing. It was Warren. He said, hey, man, were you serious about that offer? It was like I was dead serious. And so here we are. So um, it's really not me, man. It's, 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 it's the culmination of, you know, undescribably odd events <laughs> um, and, and positioning. You know, one of the things that uh, I, I commend you for is that you you have always seemed to position yourself um 
at the right opportunity at the right time. And then preparation, you know, they have an equation for success. Preparation pulls that door again. Preparation plus opportunity equals success. And um, and that's just basically what it is, being prepared, being in the market, and being able to have the technology, you know, and the infrastructure in place to, to distribute your content. And that's really the position um, that we have to take uh, as long-term, you know, radio personalities. I'm not into that whole... You know, I ain't like what you say. I'm gonna cut your mic off. I'm not into that. You know, right? You know, we got problems in Atlanta trying to get on the radio, and and so you know now we trying to put a stick in Atlanta. You know, it's like we you don't have. Ain't nobody got time for that. We serious about what we're trying to do. I mean, you, so that's David. Kind of position. David, I mean, you really are serious about this. Now, I, I talked to you about a year ago about doing all of this, and you know, I, it was in its infancy. And now it's here. Warren Valentine's been brought back by you. Now we can get. We're going to get into the Bev Smith stuff in a moment. We're going to get into all the places that you can hear all of this content. But what's interesting is you. You know, a lot of people talk, but you actually put the work in. Well, here's the thing, man. Like we're dealing with a situation that everybody's overlooking this black talk radio space. No, I just did a deal with TuneIn earlier today, and we talked to the owner of the, 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 the founder of TuneIn. And the founder of TuneIn told me this. This is what he said verbatim. David is sitting on a landmine because nobody is paying attention to this space. They want to listen to Lil Wayne all day. They want to listen to Jay-Z and Beyonce all day. You know, black people do more than just coon and buffoon for 24-7. It has to be a space where Negroes can talk about issues that affect them. There has to be a space for Negroes to talk about health and wellness and food security and Monsanto buying Whole Foods. Ain't nobody talking about that. It has to be a space for Negroes to say, hey, I got abducted by the aliens. There ain't no urban coast to coast. So there has to be this, this space where we can come and have conversations that, that people really feel serious about. People call in talking about Angelina uh, Jolie and her double mastectomy and this whole cancer situation and how that's affecting black women and why black women are getting breast cancer at an enormously alarming rate more than white our counterparts. Why is there no space? Why, is, why are the radio stations of commission? Hey, this is language, FCC language, to serve the communities that they operate within. That's an FCC mandate. And ain't none of them doing it. So-called networks running around owned by black uh, radio uh, conglomerates ain't even doing that. So what, what's the, what, what are we to do? I'm not going to sit here and accept that. That's unacceptable. My mama even said that. It's unacceptable. Best Smith's now on the radio in New York. Do something about it. So this is a position that we got to take. We have to say, look, I'm not dealing with this no more. You're going to give me what it is that I'm needing, that I'm requiring, or we're going to build it. Or we're going to go buy the radio station and turn it from dark to light, and we're going to run this program in 24-7. We're going to shove it down your throat because this is what we require. We don't need to be cooning and buffooning 24-7. That's unacceptable at this point. I love it. I love it. We're going to talk more to David Anderson. He's the founder and chief operating officer of the Empowerment Radio Network, responsible for bringing Warren Ballantyne back to the air. And that's a big move. I mean, that's gutsy, ballsy stuff. We're going to talk about Bev Smith as well because he's got Bev Smith. He's got a large state. He's talking about buying a station in Atlanta. You heard a little bit about that. Maybe I can get him to tell me a little on the air about that, maybe. We'll see. This is Reading News Review. I'm Rob Reading, America's Independent Voice, giving you the pressing news that you need to know first at 855 855- Rob 3080, 855-762-3080. I have the man right here, Empowerment Radio Network, David Anderson. He's with us. Back with more of Reading News Review, the show, in a moment. We are talking to David Anderson, who himself is a talk show host, entrepreneur extraordinaire. You've got a show that's on Sirius XM, and you are doing extremely well yourself, yet you've concerned yourself with the entire industry as a whole. Not only have you brought Warren Valentine back to radio, but you also, just a few months ago, brought Bev Smith, as you already mentioned, back to radio. Why? Well, <clears throat> Warren's show is important um, because he, he, he gives a voice to, to uh, first of all, he's an attorney, so he understands the law, and then, you know, he's able to, to give a voice to people who don't have a voice. Beth Smith is a national treasure, and 
and um, you know, she has so much experience. She and and she's an advocate first. You know, sometimes when people do radio, they they just like a personality, and that's it. You know, this woman has has dedicated her life to the um to to the empowerment of all people. She's a human rights activist. She's a she's a she's a black activist. I mean, she's a woman's empowerment fanatic. I mean, why wouldn't we have her on the network? It's just values matches there. And she she brings so much to the table. I mean, you know, it's Beth Smith, you know, so, you know, and then my mom called me. She got me out. She's like, look, I can't listen to Beth Smith in New York City. You got to figure it out. Don't call me back till you figure it out. Bye. So, you know, I had to, uh, I had a John Q pulled on me. And, um, you know, we, we had to make it happen. I'm just happy that she, she accepted the... Um, you know the challenge because this is rough, man. It's yeah, like, it is. What we're doing is, 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 you know, it's not like you know if we were doing twenty-four hours worth for hip hop. We would have bad advertisements thrown at us, but we're not, you know. So we got challenges with radio. We got challenges getting on the radio. We got challenges with advertisers. You know, challenges with other, you know, station broadcasters. Just challenges all the way around. This is a challenge. But, you know, we work through it every day. Every day we get up, God gives us an opportunity to work through these challenges. And as entrepreneurs, you know, we're problem solvers. You know, we solve people's problems. And I just felt like, you know, this is something that means a lot to me. My grandfather owned a radio station when I was a kid. You know, I feel like I'm honoring his legacy right now, you know, building this network out and and offering an opportunity to the community and, and people who are interested in in this agenda. I'm glad you said that about your grandfather. We're going to come back to that in just a second, but I got two tough questions for you. You know, you know, I'm known for the tough questions, David. All right, man, so, come on. So, he, so, so here we go. Here's here's question number one. One of the reasons why Bev Smith was no longer on the radio is because her network decided that she was. This is the story that they gave too old. All right, and her yeah, listeners were dying or correct. dead. Yeah, part of that is correct. And so, um, you know, a, a lot a lot of what happens is is, is communication. All right, well, first let me say this. On October 21st, uh, 2011, a notice went out to affiliates saying that Beth Smith will no longer uh, be airing. The reasons behind that were were, uh, were a number of reasons which stem from communication. You know, if, if, if uh, I, you know, it, it, it's a little bit more deeper than what, I, what I'm privy to, but from the information that I got, you know, uh, Mr. Lopez, as we call him, or Jerry Lopes, I guess he felt like, you know, Ms. Bev is old, and, and who's really listening to her? Whereas we feel like, well, wait a minute. A lot of the affiliates that we're picking up are gospel stations, they're in, in, inspiration stations, they're not necessarily gospel all the way 24-7, but the inspiration slash motivation gospel station. And the gospel format, instead of getting you with Jesus all day, they're understanding that, we gotta play some music and we gotta play some information. You know, we gotta empower the community. This is what this is what it's about. And so that's our agenda. That's our number one that's part of our mission state. So for whatever the reason, the real reason that you are and got rid of uh Miss Bev, it don't even matter. Because we saw the huge value in everything that she brought to the table. Listen, Miss Bev bought Farrakhan we just got back from the Bahamas. She bought Minister Farrakhan to the Bahamas, and Peter Nagy, who's also part of the Empowerment Radio Network, y'all go Google Peter Nagy, N-Y-G-A-R-D, he's part of the Empowerment Radio Network. Nagy sends his plane for Farrakhan to pick him up and brings him to his own island. Mr. Nagy got an island called Nagy Key in the Bahamas and brings him in, Farrakhan. So this wow. this is all came from Ms. Bear's relationships and her connections. I mean, and she's so, been on know, CNN. I wish somebody would fire Brush Limbaugh because he's old. You know, I mean, but this is what I'm saying. It goes back down to how how we view, you know, I started to say Ms. Bell's a national treasure. You know what I'm saying? If you don't handle national treasures like that, you know, why, why does Peter Nygut send his own jet, Nygut 1, to pick up Ms. Bell's and Farrakhan? You know, and you already ain't treating her like that. That's you know, right. They, they well, issue statements to affiliates. You know what I'm like saying? That, so, yeah. 
It, 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 it's not lost on me. Warren will soon be a national treasurer. He's 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 a big guy. He's got a scandal brewing. He's got some legal issues. We're not going to get into yeah, it. He's got but, some legal challenges, but all yeah. black men have legal challenges. I got yeah. legal challenges. Everybody who's black in America got legal challenges. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a matter of you know how you handle them. You know he's got Charles Ogletree um, handling that situation. And to me, really, honestly, let's really talk here. This is an attack on black radio. Just keep it real. Why yeah. is Michael Bazin off the air? He's yeah. not, why is why is why didn't Cumulus honor the the, t- the ten million dollars that he asked for when they're paying him five hundred thousand and the show generated a hundred million dollars last year? What's up with that? You understand what I'm saying? Why why is Sharpton still on the radio? How is Sharpton able to take money from both sides of the fence and he's still on the air? Are you serious? Come on, son. That's the biggest clown that that all of you right now. But they allow for Michael Bazin to stay on. Oh, excuse me, they take Michael Bazin off, keep Sharpton on, but then turn around and take Warren off. That doesn't make any sense. When Warren is bringing the truth, it doesn't make any sense to me. So this is why I'm saying ownership is important. We have to own the devices, the codex. We have to own the, the, the antennas, the tower sites. We have to own the whole food chain in terms of getting this information out on the radio. Because Real quickly. If you don't, if because you don't, you don't. they're going to let you sit up there and do what you do. And say, as long as you're taking this money, Mr. Sharpton, it's cool. You understand? But as soon as you start speaking truth, they cut your mic. Come on, man. We ain't nobody got time for that. Exactly. And speaking of cutting off mics, you're trying to cut on mics in Atlanta and own a radio station. A little bit about that. 30 seconds. You know, this is, this is all, it might be too premature to even be talking like this, but, but on the real, man, I, I got called in to to a, a major broadcast company to discuss, you know, the network. And when they called me in, they was like, "Well, so we'll sit down, Mr. Anderson, have a seat. We'll let it, we'll let the uh, person I was meeting with know that you're here." They they called the back into the back. I was like, "Yo, Mr. Anderson's here," and the gentleman's like, "Well, reschedule him." I'm like, "Okay, I don't have no problems being rescheduled, but give me a hard time." We all know we'll get back to you. So I know that language. I talk that cold language. I'm not into that. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to, I got a busy schedule. You're going to stop me for what I'm doing to come down and talk to you. And then you reschedule me and don't give me a time. That's a problem. So, so when I'm, I said, okay, it's cool. But then when I walk away, I'm like, okay, well, listen, I just got off the road. I met with 30 station owners. All these guys are black. They own hotels and all this stuff. And they make it quick. Same question. When are you going to buy a station? So we went to FCC.gov and looked for the state. And so this, you're, this, looking, this, you're looking at doing it. That's the bottom line. Empowerment Radio oh. Network, it's on tune in. You can get it anywhere. There's no excuse. David Anderson, you're a great American. Congratulations. Hey, Rob, you're the man. You my Thank idol. you, sir. Rob Reddy, man. Check us out. Don't forget Black Economics airs on Series XM. Saturday morning, 6 to 9. You've been listening to Ready News Review, the podcast with America's independent voice, Rob Ready, presented by Reading Communications Incorporated. For all the pressing news you need to know, log on to www.readingnewsreview.com.